Okay. It's getting closer and closer to that moment when the OK button is pressed. The countdown begins, and we're going to see these epic nerds battle it out. Yeah. They are epic nerds, man. These are level 99 nerds over These there. are like mega nerds. Yeah. Like Nerdzilla. <laughs> there, man. Jadong already up one game. Bisu going to have to play a little bit better this time around. Otherwise, he's going to be playing in the third place match. Yeah, that's right. right we're gonna, we'll have to watch uh, some Bisu versus Cole later tonight, maybe. Yep. I guess, uh, you know, I am rooting for Jadong, though, because then we'll get to see a couple PVZs instead of a ZBZ and a yep. PVV. And, uh, you know, those mirrors just normally not as fun as uh, a non mirror. Yep, absolutely. Jadong and Bisu, the best Zerg and the best Protoss in the world. Who's going to come out on top? We'll find out soon. Feels weird to not hear the uh, Hana Duel set. Yeah. Jade on crazy. <laughs> Especially because this actually feels like we're at a, you know, a Star League or something. Yeah. yeah. So packed in here. We even hear, um, you know, Jadong fighting or Bisu fighting at BlizzCon. Yeah, that's true. That's Another true. The great team event. Guys, take care of that. And we see Bisu. He is going to be down here in the bottom right with Atil Protoss. Jadong, of course, in the bottom left with Yellow Zerg. And Jadong looks like he's going to scout cross position diagonally. Cross that's really interesting. His Overlord, you know, maybe looking for proxy gates just in case. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Uh, only I thing think I can right. think. He's like, all right, this guy's a newbie. What what could he do to beat me? <laughs> And I wouldn't even be surprised if he thinks that, man, because Jadong is that good. Yeah, Jadong literally sits in his booth, be booth before each game and just says, I'm going to destroy him over yep. and over and over. That is not an exaggeration. That is actually what he says. Yep. He uh, gets himself really pumped up, really angry. Look at his face, man. He's an angry nerd. He's going to kill him, man. Yeah. It's He's, quite possible. He is quite serious. And uh, another thing that I have heard from the Eastern managers who brought Eastern players over to practice with them is that he looks the same exact way as he does in that booth during every game in practice. He takes every game completely seriously and tries 100%. And I tell you, that is tiring. I've tried that. That is hard to do. It, it takes a lot of stamina to, to be a pro gamer in Korea. The training hours are so intense. Sometimes yeah. I think too intense. That's why we see a lot of burnouts. But, you know, it's, an, it's another thing you got to master, and these guys have done it. So props to them. That's right. And you know China? On its way to the same thing, man. Yep, we already have pro gaming house. houses here. Yeah, yeah. the three uh, players that qualified for WCG out of China this year all live in the same pro team house. PJ has shown us he can play on the same level. These are S-class pro gamers, and PJ is giving them a run for their money. Now, that is sick. It's really interesting to see how the non-Koreans have caught up a lot yeah. um, to the Korean scene. As I far as skill you, goes. Yeah, yeah. The, I mean, we've seen a lot of PJ against these pro gamers lately, but at the same time, I've seen some uh, PJ versus Hydra and Rhett recently, and they are right up there with him. Yep. Same skill level. So, you know, we got three guys that are just outstanding right now, which makes, in my opinion, events like this so much more fun, so much more interesting. Yeah, so much more dynamic, too. It's funny because every single pro gamer, well, all three of the Korean pro gamers, each one has had a tough time here. Yeah. Bisu. Barely won that group uh, game against PJ. Yeah. Uh, we saw Advocate really put up a tough fight yeah. for Jadong. And of course, Stork nearly lost to PJ as well. Yeah. So it's been very exciting. Six, six games. We see that it is a cool first build for Jadong. Really making sure that that cheesy Bisu noob isn't going to be able to get him early. Uh, and <laughs> just pulling up with an expand. And it looks like uh, just pretty standard play here. See cannon expand into a gateway. So uh, both of them going to play very standard games, which uh, may make this a pretty long game considering it's Coliseum too. Yeah, one thing about Coliseum, Storm Drop's really good here. It's tough, um, especially to get those Corsairs out early for Zerk to be ready. Um, one way to help prevent that, or at least from losing so many drones, is you hotkey um, the location of each hatchery has F2, F3, and F4. Yep. And that way you can just, when you see the drop coming, F2, grab the drones, F3, go to the mineral patch. Yep, that is actually the best tip uh, anyone could get. You know, for you foreigners out there listening to our stream, uh, do that. That is how every pro gamer plays. Every single one of them uses that style to run away from these drops. And also it, it takes away from the hotkeys you have to use to produce your you know, probes, SCVs, or drones. It's, it's absolutely true. Definitely try that at home. If you haven't, you'll be amazed how many workers you'll save. Because really, this whole game is about stopping your opponent's economy. 
Yeah, I it's mean, a I, very I'm, economy based RTS game. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, even though the the conditions for uh, winning are destroy all your opponent's buildings, the way that you actually ultimately do that is to prevent him from getting resources. Yeah. So, knowing how to protect probes and drones so important. By the way, Jadon going for uh, three bases, very standard if the Protoss fast expands. Zerg always wants to be one base ahead of his opponent. Yeah. Always, 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 every matchup. Um, and at the same time, Bisu, we don't know what he's going to do yet, but he'll probably dictate the next step in this game, whether he's going to go, you know, for... Ooh. Oh, oh, oh that Hydra thought. Bust coming, I think? He's going to try to all-in him. This is a build that's timing-based. If it doesn't win right away, the Zerg is in an almost impossible situation. Yeah. Bisu has to prepare perfectly. This is actually pretty exciting because I saw that forge spinning for Bisu. So we are definitely going to see a lot of zealots popping out. Yep. But he's going to need legs and he's going to need to throw cannons up as soon as he sees this is happening or he is going to be too late. This is the burden for Protoss is you want to tech as fast as possible. But at the same time, you need cannons. You need defense. Yep. Um, and what Jadong is saying is, look, I know Bisu's macro is some of the best in the world. I think he's going to hurry and try to get that tech up because he's so good with those Dark Templars and Corsairs. Let me just try to kill him off uh, early on here. So this game should not be very long. Probably not as long as our other game, unless Bisu holds this off. Oh, he wants to get that probe. He does not yeah. want that probe seeing any Hydras, and he's going to do everything in his power to stop that. The Corsair is going to be what ends up scouting these, but then it's going to be very late, and it's going to be a very hard thing for Bisu to hold. Okay, Corsair's coming. We don't see, uh, oh, excuse me, he hasn't seen any Hydralisks yet. Wow. Only one cannon, second cannon on the way. It's warping in from IR. And there we go. He's seen the he Hydra knows. then. And we can expect to see him warp in a lot more cannons right now. Maybe even pull some probes up because this is this is a tight, tight timing right here. There we go. Another cannon being made. Only four Zealots out there right now. Uh, this could be a rough hold. Okay, he's going to go for the Zealots first. Bates the Zealots back where the cannon can't help them. Second cannon, close to completion. He's got to take it out. Here comes some probes, and uh, it's too bad he placed that so close to the edge that the Hydras could see. A little blunder there by Bisu, but there's a lot of Hydras, and he's going to be able to take down these cannons, I think. He's going to get this one on the ledge. Can he do it? It's harder to hit things on the high ground. Both cannons go oh, down. Oh, no cannons left. This is big. It's all about the probes now, and Jadong may end this game right here, right now. He's got good position there. Jadong knows uh, he's looking good right now. And uh, only one more cannon here. And he's going to take out the forge. Bisu has to make as many cannons as possible. Too late now. Oh, wow. Unless he has uh, Templar Archives already up with the DT popping out, the game is pretty much over. But I think there's an Overlord on the way anyways. And I do not see yeah. how Bisu could possibly win from here. Yeah, there's got to be an Overlord. He wouldn't be able to see up that high ground. Takes out all there these probes. Go. And I think this is it. Expect GG. There's uh -huh. nothing mining. Wow. Jadong just, just totally destroys Bisu, he said. Wow. Cleaning up here. There's Every no probe. way he has complete access to the main. The forge will be picked off with ease. Bisu is not in good shape. Um, and this was a brilliant timing attack. GG. Wow. Jadong on to the finals. Unbelievable play wow. by Jadong there. Just totally destroying Bisu both games. Really, really impressive uh, play by J-Dog. He could show us uh, how to play standard games, textbook type games, or these risky all-in games. I really love it. Bisu did not deserve to win either of those. He has been knocked out. He is now in the uh, third place yeah. match. He'll be up against Cole later on tonight. Yep. Tomorrow, make sure you tune in for J-Dog against Stork. Should be epic. Stork, one of the only Protosses that can actually take J-Dog on. Wow, 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 wow. OMG. Jadon final. And coming up next, we are going to see the Karam 3D finals. A cool game that's been with WCG. I think this is the second year. It's almost as epic as StarCraft. Oh, yeah? Is that right? The only thing that could be more epic, I guess, would be Zealots playing pool. Something yeah. like that against the Marines. That's it, man. A Hydra against a Zealot. <laughs> Mutalist flying around, knocking the balls into the hole. Ah, uh, screw it. Let's just have StarCraft, man. Just turn Karam into StarCraft. <laughs> well, guys, I'm Tasteless, and with me is Artosis. We're going to be signing out here, but we'll be back later on today unless um, they get too crunched for time. I know we're very behind because of some problems with the Counter-Strike uh, match earlier today. We are both casters living in Korea. Feel yep. free to check us our other stuff out there.
Yep, yep. As well as our shirts. There you Here go. is the final Brazil coming up. Brazil versus this. Korea. Yep, very exciting. Guys, don't go anywhere. More games coming up here at the WCG 2009 in Chengdu, China.